the house sits uh, right on the corner. It actually holds the corner and the back wall of the house is right on the boundary, which allows the house to open out completely to a secret world, which is kind of the courtyard and the main focus of, of the building on the other side. We actually did very little on the street facade of the house uh, on the outside because the house sits, it, it occupies the site very well. It, it, um, it really allows most of the open space, the outdoor space, on the sunny side, on the private side, away from the street. Um, and the house uh, actually turns its back on the street. It's quite solid, it's quite austere onto the street with very little opening. The internal layout uh, was, was totally changed. The, uh, the building, as I said before, had, had really good bones. It was it's sited on, this, on, on the site extremely well. Uh, but the interior didn't suit the, uh, the brief of, of the owners at all. What we did was we created a house that, that really is, is quite indulgent. It's all about uh, Grant and Linda themselves. We've created a very uh, extravagant suite for them at the one end of the house with uh, each their own uh, dressing rooms and bathrooms. Between all of that is a study workspace which is a flexible space and on occasion when required can again transform itself with the use of an uh, automatic uh, dropping vertical blind which creates a wall and closes the door into a separate third suite. Downstairs was uh, completely changed from the entranceway through the kitchen and the service areas. The, uh, we opened this up entirely with uh, some stacking sliding doors which uh, now means that the kitchen and the casual dining space can open out entirely onto the courtyard uh, and focus right at the end of the courtyard in fact. This area also incorporates a lot of the uh, of the owner's uh, extensive art collection and uh, some of the objects d'art that they've collected throughout the years and it, it, it now houses all of these uh, very well. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with the staircase. The, uh, the original house was, was quite lacklustre really and, and we felt that it needed a central focus and something which was quite strong. So uh, around the entranceway we created a double volume space that there was this quite dramatic space that you enter into and we then played with the stair in that it's, it's quite sculptural, uh, it's on a slight angle, it's quite exposed, uh, the upper and the lower side of the stair. So it really is something that, that creates a focus and an, an interesting point in the centre of the house. And the interesting thing about it is that you, you, you kind of move around the stair, you enter under it, you're always aware of the sculpture from different sides uh, and different angles. And wherever you are in the house, it's kind of used as a reference point really to uh, that the other spaces are sort of flung around and you move through the space in order to get to all the other areas of the house.